then the LaForge fight, that was pretty serious. LaForge, uh, I mean, yeah. he didn't, he didn't kind of like have like a big reputation in the NHL, but he had a reputation in the minors coming up because he got suspended for an entire year from the OHL. So there was that stigma mm-hmm. around him, and he's such a big guy that there was a lot of yep. anticipation about what he was going to do in the league, kind of like the way Tr- Crowder came in, and you crushed him too. Like, w- w- what was your yep. take on that fight? What was it like going up against well, him? I- I, I knew of LaForge just because I'd known what had gone on in the Ontario Hockey League, how he'd been right. spending them and all that. So, you know, and back in the day, Quebec and Hartford, uh, you know, we were in the Adams division. So we we're, you know, they were a rivalry of the Quebec Nordiques at the point in time. So um, going in there, LaForge had just got called up. So obviously back in that day, you knew what was going to happen. And there wasn't no secret to anything. So <laughs> when he come out on the ice, uh, it, you know, it was just, so away you go, and uh, you know I, I was ready for it. I, I you know I when you when you when you even play a, another real tough guy, and especially when we were younger, you're trying to make a name for yourself. Yeah, you you, you knew what that you knew what the hell was going on, and and you know that in that fight there, which would be I really liked for myself because it was a righty against a lefty. So you know either he's knocking me down or I'm knocking him down. This, this is going one way or the other, uh-huh. and uh, there's no grabbing because I, I wasn't much of a guy to grab on. I, I didn't like that. And so LaForge is throwing his left. I'm throwing my right. And, um, and I'm probably a little, uh, I, I probably throw a little quicker than he does in my, in my punches and I catch him over the eye. And, and yeah. that was all that rose of that. And it was just a bloodbath. And do you feel that that contributed to LaForge kind of, uh, never materializing in the NHL? Do you think that that like contributed to that because it was such a, a massive, uh, um, impactful loss for him? Do you think that that kind of, Maybe, uh, maybe yeah, I, set him back a few steps. He, he yeah, he, he well, we come out of the junior, and he had such a reputation. But yeah, I, I, you know, I was watching on YouTube somewhere. There's a they talk about these guys fighting down in then even lower than the East Coast League. The, I played in these leagues in the West in the Whipple and all that, and they ran across LaForge when he was playing down there. And I, I think in an interview, he sort of he, he in the interview he comes out and he he mentions the fight and it sort of he basically says that was uh, that that really rattled them and huh. he had a hard time coming back after that. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Like, yeah. Like Ronda Rousey. No. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know what, though? You, you, you look at things and, and it, it happened to me a little later on in the in the ball game because, you know, I, I ran into Proby and I didn't do very well. I, you uh-huh. know, I didn't get hurt or anything, but I didn't sure. do very well. But, I, you know, when you look at back, just go look through the history of it. Like Mike Tyson, he gets, you know, when he gets beat. He wasn't the same man. <clears throat> he wasn't true. the same man. And then, yeah, you know, Chuck Liddell and these guys, when they fight and all of a sudden there's their stuff, they aren't the same people. When you're con- right. fighting is all about confidence. This and is, uh, if your confidence level is not at a high, it's hard to battle. You'll, you'll go on a little slide for a while until yeah. you, you know, you got to be uh, mentally strong at some point in time to come out of it. 